thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semi Dolls. In this little video series, I want to show you all the basic sewing techniques you need to follow all of my patterns confidently and joyfully. I simply like creating things and sewing so much and I hope to inspire you to get started with sewing or to get that sewing machine out back from the attic or out of the cupboard or wherever you're hiding it. All the videos in this little series are going to be linked down below in the video description and now Let's get started. In this video we're going to have a look at how to finish raw edges without a serger or overlocker. So if you do not have an overlocker or serger and cannot sew these kinds of stitches to finish your raw edges, it is really easy to just use a zigzag stitch. If you have a very basic sewing machine, just use a wide stitch and then sew along the edge, maybe not completely at the edge because then your fabric might slip and it'll all be bunched up under your presser foot, but just a wide zigzag stitch and then you can cut off the extra fabric. This is what it looks like. And all this overcasting and zigzag stitching is used to prevent the fabric from fraying at the fabric edge. So if you want to make the stitch extra secure, you can just go over it with a straight stitch so that the zigzag stitch will be completely secure and your fabric is safe from fraying. Another option is if you use your overcasting foot on your sewing machine. The overcasting foot has this little ridge here which guides the fabric so you can sew along the raw edge of the fabric and the raw edge will sit at this little guide and then you have this little ridge in the middle here which makes the stitches a little bit longer so it'll make sure that more of the thread will be guided through the foot and it'll make a nice overcasting stitch so I'm going to start with stitch number seven which is the prettiest one of the overcasting stitches, I think. And now you just guide the raw edge of the fabric under the foot here. And this little ridge that stands over on the side is making sure that the fabric is not slipping away and you're really sewing along the edge here. I hope you can see this a little bit better when I'm zooming in like this and you can see how the thread is feeding over this little bit in the back to make sure that you get a nice overcasting stitch and this is what it looks like, almost looks like a serger, doesn't it? <laughs> now we can try stitch number six, do it the same thing, the overcasting foot is guiding the raw edge of the fabric. And you make sure that your nice little fabric edge is safe from fraying. So this is what this looks like. And then there's also another overcasting stitch on my sewing machine, which is used for stretch fabrics. And I already prepared this in another video. This is what this stitch looks like. I hope this little video was useful for you. You do not need a serger or overlocker to sew all my projects. You can just finish the edges in these little ways that I showed you this time. And in the next video we're having a look at top stitching and under stitching. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.